Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. From this playlist guys, we are going to create a new exciting playlist of WordPress called WP Listable Tutorial for Beginners and this is part 1. In this video session guys, we will cover about its introduction, about class file, about its method as well as we will discuss about the what are the topics that we are going to cover inside this playlist. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching all various types of customization of WordPress to get the clear concept about WordPress. If this is your first video session of this channel guys then I strongly suggest you to go to YouTube. Inside Online Web Tutor guys you will find several playlists of customization of WordPress to go and dive into the deep core of WordPress. Okay, so basically what we are going to do from this video session. Basically this is our first part so we will discuss all these topics. Okay, so basically we will understand about the concept of WP list table. What actually this means. Okay, so just back to browser. This is a fresh installation of WordPress setup. This is 4.9.2. Okay, so if we go to go to post section, and now inside this post section, guys, we can find that this is a table structure that WordPress uses. Okay, what actually this table means? This is not a data table. Actually, we have used this is not a simple table. So, what actually basically this table indicates? This is our WP list table. Actually, WordPress uses this is a WordPress default table that we are going to study inside this whole playlist. Okay, how can we develop? How can we make these columns? How can we make bulk action? How can we make a search box? As well as how can we make all types of filters? Okay. So basically WordPress supports a table which basically contains all of the features but ac accordingly we have to customize the functions. Okay, so this is a default table structure guys that WordPress provides it is called WP list table. Okay, so inside the whole playlist we will cover all these topics as we can see that basic installation of WP list setup. We will start about the table data sorting, actions about edit, delete, bulk actions, pagination, searching and the styling the table. Okay, first we will start by making a plugin. Inside that plugin, we will make a WP list table setup. Okay, also we will feed some dummy data. From those dummy data, guys, we will start about the data sorting as well as we will see that how can we edit and delete those data. We will make pagination if we have multiple records. We will make some searching actions while we want to search some data from that table. And finally, we will style that table. Okay, so basically, this is the table that we are going to study. Okay, how can we develop? How can we manage all the things actually WordPress default provides? We are not going to use any type of data table for our plugin purpose or for our theme purpose. Okay, so before that actually we have used several times about data table. Okay, so we, so we are not going to make use of those data tables. We are going to make use of the default features of WordPress called WP list table. So basically guys, I have written some sort of definition of this WP list table. So if you go to slides, this is a slide that WordPress the class WP list table is used to display data. For example, users, plugins, comments and posts. Okay, so if we go that. If you click on plugin section, so this is another type of WP list table. Okay, if you go to user section, this is another type of WP list table. So these all features actually WordPress default provides by the help of WP list table. Okay, basically it's a class. So we will discuss about the class and its methods. How can we inherit and make use of that table for our plugin purpose? Okay, so just back to slides. This is the class called WP list table. Okay, along with this table, guys, along with this class, we will make of use of several methods of this class about displaying, sorting, pagination, and searching data. Okay, all these operations we will discuss in great detail in our later video sessions. So basically, about this class, we have several methods called get columns, prepare items, get sortable columns, get bulk actions, search box, and display. All these methods we are going to use, and by making use of these methods, we will implement all the features of WP list table. Okay, so how can we find this table to our WordPress setup? So just back to editor, folder structure, in inside the folder called WP admin, we have a folder called includes. Just click on that. Inside this includes folder means WP admin includes. We have to find a file called class WP listable. This is the class. Let's open this file to get the clear concept about the class methods. Okay, so basically I have opened that file in our NetBeans editor. Okay, so basically this is the class as we can see. So if you go to slides. Just I'm going to copy this get columns method. 
just go to editor control F to find and let's find about the columns function okay so just I'm going to type function and get columns so basically guys as we can see that this is one of the method provide by class WP list so if we are going to use this class then we have to inherit this class and by extending we can use these methods okay you can study about the definition about the parameter details of this method by going to this class file okay again going to slides this is the second method and also this is one of the important method guys that we are going to use in our later video session okay so just I'm going to copy this prepare items go to editor let me find that so let's say function and this is prepare items as we can see that prepares the list of items for displaying means this is the method responsible to show all the items that we are going to show inside WP list table okay so this is the second method of this class file just go to slides this is get sortable columns again if I'm going to search about function this is function called get sortable columns if you go to the documentation or the, about this part so get a list of sortable columns means by the help of this function or class file method we are going to make our columns sortable which columns actually we want to make sortable we have to pass as the parameter inside an array okay so these are the methods so next method is called get bulk action if we want to implement about the bulk action feature this is the bulk action feature so this is the layout if we want to implement such type of layout to our WP list table we have to use a function called get bulk action so if you go to editor let me find about function get bulk action so get an associative array option name option title with the list of bulk actions available on the table so basically if we want to implement about the bulk action feature and these are the options called delete bulk action and many more options if we want to implement this drop down we have to use and make use of this bulk action and we have to pass all the parameters inside an associative array so this is one of our next method that we are going to study inside this whole playlist okay just back to slides this is called another method called search box if you go to browser this is the search box if you go to the post section this is the search box so if we want to implement this search box to our WP list table how can we make use of that for that we have to use a function called search box and also we have to make use of some of HTML codes to make our search box input box okay so if we go to editor let me find about the method called search box so this is the search box which basically uses to make the layout and search the data from our WP list table okay so this is one of the method that we are going to study in our next video session okay so just back to editor this is another method called display okay this method is basically responsible to show all the data is actually feed from PPI items and now this method actually show all the data inside our WP list table so if I copy this method just go to editor and now let me find about the function called method called display okay so basically this is responsible to display the data on the table okay so basically guys this is the class file that we are going to cover inside the whole playlist to make the default use of these tables instead of using any third-party library to make use of these tables okay so for now we have used several times about the data tables feature about the sorting about the data feeding about the searching we have used several times about the data table okay so we are not going to use no longer use of data tables instead we are going to use about the WordPress default provided about WP list table so basically all these topics guys we're going to cover by making a simple plugin we're going to make a plugin which basically by implementing or by activating that plugin it will make a sub menu or menu inside this left panel okay by the help of that actually menu we will make a data table okay we will make a WP list table by that help of WP list table we will implement some of the dummy data okay by the help of those dummy data we are going to show some pagination some of the sorting some of the search action some of the bulk actions inside the whole playlist okay so basically guys this is our first video session so inside this video session we actually understood about the introduction of about class file of WP list table about its method and also we have seen about the topics that we will cover inside the whole playlist okay so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day